Well friends, it's a beautiful day and it is time to reset the home and the outside of the home. We were gone on a little trip and so we are back now and needing to just take care of this place. It's been a beautiful morning. My garden, when I came back, I was so amazed. The rose bush, climbing rose bush is so full as you can see. The peach and cream colored blossoms are just so beautiful. I wish they lasted like all summer. But I'm enjoying each stage of the garden as it comes, just like each season of life, right? Every little season has its beautiful moments. So we need to just take care of the house. Inside the home, there's a lot. Outside of the home, I haven't touched my vegetable gardens for weeding yet. Um, it's busier season now at the guest cottage, so I gotta finish up some cleaning. It's just kind of a busy time of year. So I'm gonna take care of maintaining the home um, my family and just doing the Lord's work in the time that I have here and taking care of processes. <laughs> so coffee as always in the morning. You saw me try that white coffee. Yuck. <laughs> it was not so good. My mother-in-law gave it to me. Mm -mm. It wasn't so good. It supposedly has double the amount of caffeine, but I'm going to stick with my black coffee from our espresso machine. Enjoy my Americano in the morning and just call that good. So let's keep rolling with the day. The kiddos are all playing. I'm sure you've heard them already. That's just life being home with three littles. So let's enjoy our beautiful, sunny spring day. Are hanging out outside I got like a sun halo on my head here after we've been inside for a little while I did some reading to the girls they helped me make some banana cookies such a simple recipe just mush bananas rolled oats and any addition you want to like we put chia seeds and raisins you could do pumpkin seeds you could put nuts in it oh I did peanut um, PB2 in there as well but that was a good snack. They had that. Little guy's down for a nap, and I'm gonna do some weeding in the garden while the girlies play a little bit out here. Um, and still drinking my coffee, brought it out. The one drawback of bringing coffee out is you get bugs in it. So is life. And I'm definitely gonna have to clip some of my flowers to bring them inside. Cause then we got back from vacation. You know, you gotta refresh the dead ones. So I got to show you a few flowers too that come back every year in their annuals. It's so cool. But I have some snapdragons that came back and they're actually blooming already. And it's end of May right now. And a couple other flowers that I save that I clip back and they come back every year. It's so neat. But I'm just enjoying this beautiful, not so windy, hi, <laughs> uh, spring day. So I'm gonna show you those flowers. All right, so right here in this corner, under our crabapple tree, these snapdragons are blooming, and I clipped them down to about like five inches, so they came back, and then I put some, like let the leaves just stay covering them, so the winter didn't ruin them. And these come back every year. They're so beautiful, and I just love that they voluntarily come back. So, it's such a pretty, colorful addition. And my pots are getting full. And Nevaeh, where's yours? You have some flowers coming up too, don't you? Yep, right there. <laughs> you watching me? I'm watching. Whoa. 
I was pretty disappointed. We had a windstorm uh, last week. The rose bush and the arch fell over this way, and so this whole clematis died because it got uprooted. Um, I had to come out and stake it during the windstorm because it just, we get some pretty heavy winds, like it was gusts of 50 or 60 for sure. So it blew over uh, the rose bush, bush thankfully stayed because it's so beautiful, but this one, it did not make it. So I'm gonna have to buy something to fill it in, maybe another clematis or something else because it was established for about two years and it fell and died. So is life living in a windy state, but kind of a disappointment with gardening. You have those ups and downs. This rose climbing rose bush has been here for three years now and the goal is to get it up and over the side. Um, I pruned it in the fall and it's just it's huge now, like over abundantly huge. So I'm wanting to get it up and over, not out. And right now it tends to be going out. So, and it blooms twice. So it'll bloom later this summer as well. But isn't this just beautiful? I love it. So gorgeous. So pretty. The potatoes right here. There's only this one potatoes. Yep, all those are potatoes. I don't know what this stuff is. You going again? Okay. I want to go again. All right, you're gonna go too. All right, go through the stepping stones. Don't run through it though, okay? Let's just walk. Walk, walk. So our local little greenhouse was having 50% off sale, so I decided since mine blew off and broke off, I got a wisteria plat. I got him out. Oh, you did. So this will be pretty to plant on my arch, a really pretty um, burgundy color. Then to add to our aquaponics, I got some red kale and some more tomatoes to just fill it in because it's better if it's full, even if we don't pick everything. And just a few more flowers to fill in um, a few places. beautiful fresh on the table to refresh the dying one from being gone oh and then my girls picked these little daisies that I added to this little vase that I get to see every time I do my dishes so before I work on editing a video I have a change coming to the channel and that I am going to be going to one a week instead of two as this is a very busy season of life for me. Many of you know I have three little ones. I have a lot of church responsibilities. It's garden season. There's a lot of outdoor responsibilities as a homemaker for me right now. We have our guest cottage. Um, and right now I feel like I need to cut back on something. And there's a few things I've been praying about and trying to figure out what I should do with my husband and I talked about it for quite an intensive time and I'm gonna reduce it to one video per week. I will either post on Wednesdays or Thursdays at my usual 6.30 a.m. time. So you'll have midweek to enjoy a video that I bring to you about my normal content of homemaking, motherhood, thrifted and simple living. 
Now, with that said, I know I said this is a busy season, so it may only last through like August or September. I may find that it is important to keep it that way for um, an extensive time. Now, with that said too, I have a blog, if you didn't know, davykillian.com, where you can go and follow, where I'll put out a lot of things that connect with my videos, recipes, homemaking, gardening, um, just my life on there as well. And you can follow along and subscribe to my blog. You can also follow along on Instagram. I post a little more often there on like stories. Um, I post some reels of my garden and some um, homemaking motherhood inspiration there. So there's other ways you can follow me more regularly than just here on YouTube if that interests you. Because truly, really, if you go to my blog, you can, like I said, subscribe and I'm working on sending out weekly or bi-weekly emails to you that are a little more personal. So that way we can connect a little bit better that way because then it feels more like you are a true friend than just someone I'm talking to that I don't ever see, right? So just going to be telling you that so that you're not concerned when I don't post on Tuesday or a Friday and you're like, why is it Wednesday and Thursday? One day a week. Um, I haven't decided what day yet. I'll be posting either on a Wednesday or on a Thursday at my 6.30 a.m. time. So this will be my last two video week. When you see this one, um, it will come out on a Friday, I believe. And the next one will not come out until a Wednesday. So it just needs to happen for my life. And I know many of you understand and will be very gracious. And I thank you for that. So I am going to work on a video that needs to come out and probably a blog and just continue my other homemaking life because that's important too. And caring for my kids and family and home and church community and all those things that are valuable as well. So I love you guys. Thank you for continuing to follow me even though there's a change coming. And with that, let's keep going with the day. So everyone is up from a nap and I got my video worked on so that was really nice to have at that time. I didn't have to hold him in between nap for a little bit because he does this sometimes in the afternoon nap and actually nurse him too. He's still nursing. He's one. Um, so my, one of my daughters nursed till 14 months. The other one was done at 9 months. So I will slowly wean him and give him some of our cow's milk they mixed with mine. and. Just get him started on that. But we're gonna um, enjoy some afternoon outside time. I'm gonna make my latte. And this evening, oh, what? My husband and I are actually helping clean at our church parsonage. And so we'll rotate shifts. So I'll go first right after supper. And then Blaze will go and I'll come back and get the kiddos or get him down and the girls down too, because it'll be too too close to their bedtime. So that's the plan for the rest of the day. I have to go finish, like I said, at the cottage, which we'll do. The girls are watching a little bit of a show and they're almost done. And then we will do that. Okay, so I am standing by my side garden. Um, 
and I hoed some of the garden and we went for a little stroll and you know just you know it's good to play and work and work and play and play and work you know back and forth lots of traffic right now and so I hoed some of this I had some corn coming up my green beans are not coming up um, so I might have to plant those again and tomatoes and peppers are doing well I have some broccoli coming up some cucumbers coming up let's see I left some space for some more corn to plant a second row of that which I'll need to do this week so it's about three weeks apart which is really nice for fresh eating to have some and then a little bit later have some more so this is half done oh my onions are doing really well so I ordered a lot of seeds from Johnny's my sweet potato slips from Johnny's seeds should be coming in later this week actually so they should be getting here but it's nice to get a little work done while the kids play and now it's time to go continue in the supper mode. Well, I think I'm actually going to call it a vlog here. I went and cleaned the church um, parsonage. My husband now is there. I got the littlest one down. I got to bathe the oldest. Get both of those girls down. So it's still a lot of work to do. So I've got kitchen cleanup to do. So it's going to be a little bit later evening, which is okay. Hopefully I'll get outside and enjoy the evening garden though still um, because I always love just meandering through the garden at night. It's just so peaceful and quiet. So I thank you for coming along and remember I'll be posting once a week, um, at least during the summer months, maybe um, without further notice. It might be longer than that. So um, just thanks again you guys. Love you guys and I will talk with you in my next video.